and put it all back together. I'm just thinking this this device right here when it bolts on might be some extra protection if that belt starts going crazy and tries to jump off track. That will um, maybe give it some protection. It'll hit it and keep it on track. I don't know. But we're going to put it all back together that way. Always put just a little bit of axle grease on these bolts when they go in front of the engine like on a water pump or something. Be nice to the next guy if you got to take it off. Okay, this is off the Lincoln's Online website. Now this is the same pattern as you'll see on the car. But you know, it, it initially looks easy. How do you start to put this together? Back to Lincoln's Online, right? This is here. Thank God that's there. That tells you how to put the belt in to start. And you can see that this loop will come down and go here and it goes around. And then it, it's a little easier to follow when you know how to start it. So thanks guys for putting that up there. Alright, now let's uh, put the belt on. Just so you see the belt is folded together. Took a little tension down on the belt tensioner and it's going to be wrapped around the air conditioning compressor first. You'll see it uh, kind of just slides right in amongst the wheels. Now you take the bottom one, come around the fan, and connect it to the crankshaft and to each other. I'm going to take the bottom part, wrap it around the fan. This gets confusing at best. It's always <laughs> an experiment until you eventually figure it out. So let's give it a try. Okay, we're getting there. Remember, fold it in half around the air conditioning compressor, around the bottom crank, and then it's going to come up and look like this. And if you get confused with this thing, if you look at the pulleys, some pulleys are smooth and some have like the thread pattern in them. So where the pulley's smooth, that's the back of the belt. Okay, now we have it here, so it's around the bottom. Now we're going to take it here. So we're still behind the fan. I wish I had an assistant here. Okay, the belt will only go this far, so we put the tension on it. Make sure everything's lined up. And when you let the tension off, it tightens right up. Okay. Now let's double check. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Should be okay. Well, there's the old one. If you knew what you were doing, I guess you could put some new bearings in it. Just, it was just easier to replace the whole thing. If I ever need to change that. Um, I did put new air, don't call them airbags, they get mad. Air springs on this vehicle. And if I ever need to get to this compressor, I'll know where it is. Uh, I had the car at the garage, the Ford garage. It, it, to be honest, this car does not handle very well, and they couldn't even figure out what it is, and they eventually put a new steering box on it, and it helped a little bit, but it's, the car does not ride and steer as good as it should, but what are you going to do? Okay, air conditioning compressor, recently put on, 
the good old interstate battery, which may need replaced soon. I'm not sure if it's from 2004 or not. It was in the vehicle right around the time I bought it. If you ever buy a used Lincoln and you see this device underneath the um, the, the uh, brake cylinder, there was um, this uh, control for the cruise control. I think it's right there. Ends up leaking. This is probably the model that was doing it because it would leak straight down and complete the circuit to, to um, kind of cause a spark right at that junction. So they put a safety device in and they, um, to prevent that. I actually think I found a video that was posted where one of these Lincolns caught fire at a dealership and it kind of traced it down to that and had a recall. So if you see that, that's what that's about, to make your cruise control run. And that's it. The car is in Pennsylvania right now, but I guess this is where it originated from back in the day. Well, in case you're wondering where your car is, it's here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania now. All right, let's fire this baby up. See what it sounds like. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps somebody.